Hey guys, what's up? Today we're gonna look at another holster from We The People, but this time it's not made out of plastic or Kydex. It's made out of something else, a little bit different. A little bit different than the regular ones we get from them. So let's take a look at this thing, open it up and check it out. All right, so on the box it says 100% made in America, 100% lifetime guarantee. That's a good stuff to know. Um, we got a right hand outside the waistband holster. So this time it's a little bit different. We usually do the inside the waistband. Um, Kydex holsters kind of stuff and things, but they just came out with this new one, this leather guy. Let's just stick that up here. Let's go straight to the product. Nobody cares about all the hoopla. There we go. Okay, so they came out with a leather holster. So this is kind of your, I don't know if I want to say old school traditional, but a leather holster, a handcrafted leather holster. Um, like I said, a little bit different. We got it this time um, for the, uh, almost said Smith & Wesson, for the SIG 320, right? Because I got on a 320 SIG um, bandwagon for a little bit. I've been playing around with them. And I was like, you know what? I do not even have a holster to carry it in at all. Get this thing off. Um, so I need a holster to carry this. And then this guy came out and they offered it for review. And I was like, yeah, I'll for sure do this. And while I'm on that tangent, this was given to me to make this review, to do videos and whatnot and stuff. I didn't pay for this. My thing with that is, honestly, if I am given something to do a review with and I am given full honesty, like I can say what I want to say, I kind of prefer that because then I don't have money tied to this. So I don't have to defend a purchase of, man, I spent XYZ amount of dollars. I'm going to tell people it's great so that I feel better. No, like if it's good, it's good. If it's bad, it's bad. And we're going to run this guy and we're going to, we're going to see. We're going to see. So right here we have a, this is an M17, right? So this is the full size slide, full size grip. And that's pretty much what I got this for. And I opted, I said I wanted it to have the safety um, and everything on there. And look at that. It fits. It fits just fine. It fits like a glove. So he fits in there, right? There's no... Stuff I'm just, uh, obviously I just opened this up. Um, stuff I'm noticing, there's no like retention screws. So this is all, this is like your traditional leather kind of holsters and stuff, right? Um, so there's no screw to adjust retention. It's kind of press fit, right? Um, I'm gonna have to put, I'll put this on my belt in just a second, but there you go. So it's nice and snug fit. We also have, this is a compact, my thumb out of there. This is a compact with a threaded barrel, so a little bit longer barrel. Something I like to try to do, if I get a holster, I get it for the longer slide or longer option, right? So that if I run a comp or a threaded barrel, I shouldn't have any issues. And just right there you can see, snug fit right in. And yep, right there at the end. Um, the barrel's not sticking out, so we should be good to go. Right, so let's take that guy off. I'm going to throw this guy on real quick. It looks like we have a big outside loop, and then this is like a, um, well, a little loop that goes around your pants, right? I didn't read the instructions on this, obviously, so this seemed very straightforward, cut and dry. So I'm going to throw this thing on real quick, and we'll take a look at it. All right, so here we go. We have our SIG M17. We're going to put that in the holster, nice and snug. We take this loop, this little kind of like your regular loop you would have on a pistol. Run that through the back of my pants, or not my, my pants, my uh, my belt. Pull that guy up a little bit. If I can feel it with my fingers. There we go. Pull him up and over and click him into place. He's got two little clips or two buttons that's kind of snap into place. So that is your, that's eh, pretty much three, four o'clock-ish position. I'm assuming if you pushed it back a little bit, you could be more that 430 and kind of help tuck in some of that uh, some of that grip back there and kind of keep it out of the way. Um, and depending on how tight your belt is, that's also going to help squeeze and push that in. That actually is not bad at all. So for an outside the waistband holster, I'm not a huge outside the waistband holster kind of guy. This has a, a special case, you know, if I'm out doing outdoor activities and stuff, it is good to have an outside the waistband easy access holster if that makes any sense so that's where i'm seeing where this guy would probably shine okay so he's on there and everything you can get a good grip on the gun draws nice and easy put that guy back in there that's one thing you would have to be a little bit careful of regular kydex holsters they keep their shape right uh, they're not going to fold in on themselves that is one thing um, to note with leather holsters if you want to make sure for sure for sure especially as they wear 
that the lips and stuff don't bend in. These are, these obviously have some stitching and stuff on the outside, it helps it, or not on the outside, on the edges, which looks like that should help keep its rigidity a little bit. Uh, but when you go to holster, make sure you ride the back of that, um, the back of that slide with your thumb and keep that finger out of that trigger. Make sure you don't flag yourself, kind of feel its way in. Don't stick it in this way. You see people do that. You may, I mean, you're pointing a gun at yourself. Don't do that. So get it in there. Push down with your thumb on that slide. Make sure he's nice and seated in there. He's not out of battery. That slide doesn't poke back up. Make sure everything is seated the way it's supposed to be. And there you go. That's that guy. So you could, in theory, throw your shirt over it. And quite honestly, you have the bottom of this sticking out down here. I don't know if the table's kind of in the way, but you have that sticking out. If you've got a, a jacket, a uh, sweater kind of thing, you probably could even get away with that. And honestly, I can access my pockets. You know, that's one thing. I mean, just comfort-wise, I'm just spitballing things here at you. Um, that's something that kind of makes sense. I mean, I don't know. It's just some pros and cons of inside and outside the waistband holsters. And this guy would be, I don't know, he seems to be... Seems to be decent, all right? So let's throw the compact in there. See if that makes any difference, no. He fits in there and he's even a little bit shorter back here. Um, the the grip on this guy is the, is the smaller grip so he doesn't stick out as much. So especially that guy, this is just wearing a t-shirt. Just wearing a t-shirt and you can, it definitely prints. Outside the waistband holsters are not as concealable as your inside the waistband holsters. But that's that guy, all right? Um, so I'm gonna wear this guy for a little bit. I'm gonna give it a good old, uh, good old shakedown. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna wear it as as many places as I can um, that don't interfere with my regular everyday kind of lifestyle stuff. I am a 99.99% um, appendix carry guy, right? I really like appendix carry. I don't think he's gonna work as an appendix carry, but that's not his job, right? Just like you don't have one gun for every single situation. You don't have one holster for every single situation, or at least I don't think you should. You have different applications for different things. Specifically up here, living in Alaska, um, having an outside the waistband holster, especially for outdoor, out in the woods activities, I think is a very good idea. Um, it keeps your, I mean, it's just way more accessible in a way. It can allow you, in this case, to carry a larger frame pistol, right? A larger gun with more rounds in it, whatever. In this case, I mean, they're both nine millimeter, but more rounds and just more accessible. It just makes sense out in the woods and out in the wild, right? I'm not gonna be wearing this around town probably very much unless I got like a big coat on or whatnot. That's just not my style, but if that's your style, some people wear that, some people do that. Is there anything specific about this? Oh, well, looky, looky. What is that? What? This is not. This is not. No freaking way. I did not know they had both of them. Okay, well this is interesting. I'm just looking at this and making sure I have all the details ironed out and give you any specific stuff you need to know. Apparently, I didn't do my research. Um, they do have an outside the waistband with the leather and an inside the waistband with the leather. I mean, check that out. They actually have it. Because I was looking on the back on the pictures and they have appendix carry. And I'm like, wait, you can't carry this thing appendix. How's that gonna work? When it's not this one, it's the other leather holster that they apparently have that is also inside the waistband. So kudos to them, there you go. Uh, interesting, and from my experience having a leather holster, they do generally, this is generalizing terms, they do generally feel better, they, they're they more comfortable, right? There's pros and cons to them, absolutely. Um, so that could be an interesting thing to try in inside the waistband leather holster. I didn't even know they had that one, but kudos to them for doing that. Uh, but anyway, guys, if you have any questions, let's just wrap this thing up. If you have any questions about the new leather holster, best thing to do, honestly, you can ask me in the comments or whatever, but best thing to do is to head over to their website and check out check check it out because um, they're going to have all the detailed information there. I literally just opened this thing and started looking at it. So by the time you maybe ask questions and stuff, I might know a little bit more but all that information is basically gonna come off of their website. So save yourself hassle and just um, don't get attacked by little things. Um, save yourself some hassle and go over there to their website and get information from there if you want to. Now, again, I have, this This stuff was sent to me. We the people do work with me. They send me stuff to review and look at. If you don't like that, don't watch the videos. Um, but if you do, if you don't mind that and you actually want to support me a little bit in this whole endeavor so I can continue doing all the kind of stuff that I do, um, I will have an affiliate link, meaning I get kickbacks or whatever it is I'm supposed to. I don't think I ever have yet. Um, 
from We The People if you follow the links and stuff and I have discounts and things for you. That'll all be posted down below. But those are affiliate links and stuff if you want to check it out um, and help me out if you want to. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, let me know. And I'm going to shut up. All right, y'all be good to be safe. Appreciate you watching. Hopefully we'll catch you in the next video.